Hello and welcome to this weather update. It is about 11.40 p.m. on July 13th, 2019. And yes, I know, uh, I will get to Barry in a moment, but we got to talk about our weather uh, and uh, then we'll talk about Barry. Uh, so a fairly decent day across the area. It was hot, though. It was hot, uh, especially in the, in the Pine Barrens where I tried to go and didn't last very long. You'll see that. Had to be on the south shore where there was a sea breeze. Uh, mostly clear, maybe some pop-up clouds here and there, but a mostly clear day. No, what's lo notice what's missing on this. Smoke. I don't see a lot of smoke. Maybe there's a little bit of smoke, but I don't see a lot of smoke. Let's look at the satellite image here over here, the loop, and you will see I don't see much smoke. Maybe just a teeny, weeny, weeny bit. Uh, maybe a little bit right there, but not that much at all. Very little. Uh, uh, so uh, here, of course, is Barry. So here is the image of it. The visible satellite picture, it made landfall a uh, good distance west of New Orleans, about 150 miles west of New Orleans. Looks like the Euro had the right idea on that once again. So the uh, Euro is a good model for uh, these storms, it seems. Uh, it's not always right, but sometimes it is. So uh, before us, let's get to our weather. All right, so right now in Farmingdale, 75 degrees. Dew point is 70. Yes, it went, the dew point went up, unfortunately. It was a little less humid earlier in the day. We had dew points in the low and middle 60s. Not dry by any means, but uh, by the time it got toward evening, it really started getting muggy, and the sea breeze kind of dropped off. We actually had a decent sea breeze on the south shore uh, in, the, in the afternoon, but uh, not uh, in the evening, and afternoon and early evening, but then it kind of dropped off. Uh, 81 in Central Park right now. I don't want to see what the city is. 84 uh, and the LaGuardia. Look at Tom's River. I'm not going to go over all these observations here. Tom's River 72. Dew point is not reporting. So again, dew point went up to 74 and then it went not reporting. A lot hotter in Tom's River though. Hit 89. No surprise uh, there. Looking at the Ventu sky, you can see it's warmer on the North Shore, cooler on the South Shore. If I back it up to around 1400. You will see that difference a little bit here. So you can see that sea breeze on the south shore. It was a little cooler in the upper 70s, and then you went to the middle of the island. It was in the mid 80s, uh, and Tom's River was near 90. So uh, that's, uh, and of course, we got these high dew points, uh, which again are we're going to be dealing with. However, there may be a little relief tomorrow. Uh, we're going to look at some of the models about that. We can look at this model if you want. Uh, and see if, a, if this shows any relief for us in the afternoon from high dew points. And it unfortunately does not show much. This is a 1300 uh, right here. So maybe a little drier air trying to make its way in, but it's not going to be great. And it's going to be hot too. So if we look at the heat, you'll see it's going to be a mid 80s, maybe near 90. It's going to be hot. And Unfortunately for tomorrow, it looks like that there won't be as much of a sea breeze. We will look at some of the other models, too, but you can see uh, actually no sea breeze at all tomorrow. So you won't get any relief unless you're maybe right on the beach. There's not going to be a sea breeze. and It's going to be brutal, but there's going to be a strong west wind that's going to suppress the sea breeze down. So let's get to Tropical Storm Barry. Uh, Tropical Storm Bar Barry right now is weakening significantly. Let's take a look at it on satellite. See, it does not look very organized. Still convection pumping up over the water. You can see this thing is just barely moving, though. This thing is almost looks like it's moving back. Just kind of weird. The presentation is very messy. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, current port from the Hurricane Center. It, and again, it is weakened back to a tropical storm. It only was a hurricane for a brief amount of time. So it's the latest advisory at 10 p.m. Central. Uh, it is only 50 mile an hour winds right now, and its movement is north northwest at 8 miles an hour. But with this storm, it was never much about the wind, it was about the rain. Uh, you have to keep that in mind. And uh, this is the radar right now. You can see it looks like there's some severe, some tornadoes could always spin off in these, hot, in these outer bands here. Uh, but New Orleans so far has not really gotten the heavy rain, it's mostly toward the west. Uh, and if you look at the radar here, We'll uh, look at the radar, and we'll pick the radar for this area right here and see if we can get a wider, somewhat wider view here. Go a little more over here, uh, and you can see some heavier rain over here. So, But this is all going to move west into New Orleans, west of New Orleans, more into Mi Mississippi, I think. Mississippi may wind up seeing more rain out of this. Uh, so as far as the power outage situation goes, uh, we got to talk about what happened in Manhattan, too, even though it may be weather-related. Um, the uh, counties that were impacted before the same 
pretty much counties that are impacted now. You pretty much have in this southern southwestern area complete uh, power outage because uh, the Morgan City area have a failure of the transmission system uh, that went down. Uh, 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 the uh, transmission system. The uh, I forgot the name of it. They have a electric company down there. I forgot the name. Well, I don't know. They actually do list all the electric companies here. Clico, yeah, Clico. Uh, their most of their system went down in that area. So uh, that's you know probably due to the wind. I'm not sure if it was wind or water, uh, but this area is hit very hard. But New Orleans is hardly hit at all. Um, with power out, it does not too not too many. If you go, where's Orleans? Jefferson, not not that many, not that many power outages. Only eight in Orleans Parish, so in Baton Rouge, hardly any. So because once the storm moved inland, the winds kind of really died off quick. So the winds mainly only impacted this area right here, and not really anywhere else too significantly. Uh, and that's why, like I said, the storm is really not going to be known for its wind. It's going to be known for its rain. And so now we go and we look at the models and we go uh, to the Tropical Tidbit site. Again, we go back to the, and we look at the models and we take a look at Barry on the models. I don't have the full, enough, I don't have the GFS app that far. Uh, we'll uh, go and we'll look at the southeast here and see. Goes out to 72 hours, which I guess is enough to show you what's going to happen with this. So you can see it just slowly takes its time going up through. It's almost more of a Mississippi storm now almost. Uh, Louisiana, Mississippi, a little bit more so, and maybe even parts of Texas. So keep an eye on that for sure. But it's all about the rain. That's the thing. So when we take a look at the rainfall, total accumulated precip, you're still dealing with it. looks like it's backed off a little bit, but you have to remember a lot has already fallen, but it's backed off a little bit on some of these high numbers, and now it's having a narrower stripe west of New Orleans. So pretty much west of New Orleans, New Orleans is probably going to avoid the worst of the of the rain. It's going to be west places like Baton Rouge, Lafayette. Those are the areas are going to see the heaviest precipitation. Let me look at the NAM as well. So NAM is still calling for these uh, two foot possible totals. We'll have to see what verifies. We'll have to take a look at some observations from those areas maybe and see what the rainfall totals are when this is all said and done. Um, but right now, that's pretty much what the rainfall looks like on the NAM. Right, if we go and we change this back to this, you will just see this thing just take its sweet time here. But it's very disorganized. Barry is a very disorganized system uh, because of where it formed and because of all the shear it, it encountered, but formed anyway. This was not even a storm that was supposed to form. It actually had its roots inlet over the uh, land, which is very uh, just a very unusual storm because of the way it formed. Uh, and that's that's something to keep in mind. A uh, very unusual uh, type of thing uh, to see and deal with. So uh, we're going to change this and start looking at our weather now. Uh, you know, I'm you know I'm not. You know, there's a lot going on. Uh, you know, Barry obviously is something that is uh, an ongoing thing that I'll I'll keep my eye on. But we want to talk about our weather. So no precipitation tomorrow or Monday. No chances of precipitation through Tuesday. It looks like. All right. Uh, but we will, but what we will be dealing with. I'm going to go back to GFS here. Uh, we will uh, go ahead and look at the temperatures. So let's go ahead and start with that, and see where our temperatures are going to be going for the rest of this weekend. So after a muggy night, temperatures rise up to probably near 90 again tomorrow. So and no sea breeze. So it's going to be more brutal tomorrow probably because there won't be a sea breeze. And then for Monday, uh, we do cool off a little bit. So we see that cool down mid 80s. Uh, we do have a cool down and the dew points will come down that day too. Now I only have the GFS 0Z out to a certain amount so I'll just show you Tuesday because I don't want to show you the old one. I'll show you Tuesday. Here you go. You're 90 in the city. Cooler on the south shore and then I only go out that far. So uh, I'll look at the dew points and see what the dew points are going to be looking like as we go into tomorrow. So you see uh, it tries to build in the dry air. Look at that little push of dry air that might try to build in over western Long Island. We'll have to see. That's not uh, definite. One thing's for sure. Monday there'll be a stronger push of dry air, and the dew points will go down into the mid 50s, maybe, probably mid uh, low to mid 50s. So that'll be much, much more comfortable to deal with. Uh, but the humidity you see starts returning by Tuesday. So, yep, that's what you have going on right now. Um, so I think. 
that'll wrap it up. There's just one more thing we need to look at, and that is the power outage in New York City. Yes, there was a big power outage in New York City, so this may have been related to... It was a transformer that blew up. So, see, power outages stranded people in stores. It's on the anniversary of the 1977 blackout. Uh, and it was mainly around the Upper West Side, Broadway, and it was uh, due to a, uh, some kind of transformer issue. Uh, and this probably could be weather-related, and with the heat coming, I'm really concerned that there's going to be a lot more of this in the city. Uh, so let's, let's look at the outage map, and let's see. Uh, I know they've restored a lot of customers, but it's still... Oh, there's still a lot of customers out. One th oh, 17, uh, 17,225. Oh, boy, that's really bad. So this is all in Manhattan here, in this area here. Uh, really, really bad. You can see power outages in Midtown. I don't think they're affecting... Uh, they are not affecting the Long Island Railroad or Penn Station, from what I understand, but they may have been affecting the Port Authority. I don't know about that. I don't report on that really too much, but I can tell you that uh, this is something that concerns me a great deal because uh, the heat is, you know, the heat accumulates. The more heat you have, the hotter it gets. And the, the wires are underground in the city, which is good when there's a storm, but bad when it's hot. They overheat and they start fires, and they ex this is what happens. And uh, we could see a lot more of this because uh, that heat wave next week uh, that the GFS is calling for us still concerns me that we are really going to see uh, some triple digits uh, readings in the city, perhaps. Uh, as we reach into next week and into next weekend, uh, well, toward the end of next week and the next weekend, but I'll talk about that in another, in another weather update. That does conclude this weather update. So, hope those people get their power back because it's not. Uh, it's very muggy tonight. You need your air conditioner. <sighs> That's all I can say. So that wraps up this weather update. Take care and thank you for watching.